So today I'm doing another 2017 makeup trends. Today I'm doing the relaxed red lip with not much else. So I'm going to start out with my primer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some concealer. Using number four concealer. Now the look, the whole idea of this look is that you want to look plain and pretty flawless other than your red lips. So you really want to make sure that your complexion is on point. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually use a sponge. So I'm going to get some of number three and some of number four. And I'm going to go over the red areas. I do the edges of my mouth. Okay, and then I'm going to get my foundation. I have all my stuff in a um, in my makeup bag because I was forced to do mobile makeup over the week. So anyway, it's been a rough week. So we're taking some of that Shinto 2 right here. That's my color. Just take a little bit and blend her in now the look is very um like i said very very plain almost kind of boyish apart from the red lip um I, I, there is another trend as well where the it's dark lips but it's very blurred lines so i'm going to be doing that as well now you can do uh you can do like a light contour you can do whatever you want i because because that's just really kind of going i don't want to say it's going out of style or some anything like that but it's just it's definitely people are just not kind of shying away from it a little bit more so um i think honestly all i'm going to do is a little bit of blush for highlight i'm going to do our number six and i'm just going to Place it on and blend it out real quick. A little on the nose, a little on the upper lip. Then for blush, I think I'm going to do a peachy blush. Peachy, as I explained in other videos looks more natural on me and it looks really good i found that the the most natural way to wear blush um in conjunction with whatever lipstick you're wearing is wear opposites so in in uh, relation to pink and peach if you're wearing pinks if you're wearing like pinks reds something in that family on your lips wear a peach blush something that contrasts i know it goes against everything as far as like matching but because it contrasts I think it looks more natural same thing if you're wearing like um, peach ish or kind of like brownish lips do a pink blush because then that way it doesn't look too uh, peach or blush and lipstick or lip color together are things that you don't want to really look too matchy matchy on if you're trying to look natural so I'm going to do a peach blush my favorite blush um, is number seven which is this one right here and true I did say that you want your skin to look kind of pretty bare um, which is true but also a lot of blush is a, is a 2017 trend as well so I'm just gonna and I really didn't add that much it looks like a lot probably because I don't have any other makeup on but it's really not a lot um, and then the next thing I'm going to do, as per usual, is our translucent powder. I just kind of dab it where I'm the most shiny and then I blend it in. So now for eyes. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put a little bit of powder over my eyelids just because I don't want them to crease. But I'm really not going to do a whole lot of color. So actually I'm going to take that highlight color again right here and I'm just going to like smash it in the eyes, in the eyelids. 
and that's really all I'm going to do. Bam, done. Okay, um, I'm going to do brows. A huge trend right now for brows is like big, bushy, kind of boyish and straight across. So I'm going to do that and I think that really goes well with red lips because it's like the juxtaposition of like boyish and kind of like a little bit more harsh with like lady, you know, it's just like, it's kind of the whole um, androgynous thing. So that's what we're going to do. Same way that I do my brows all the time. Except for this time, I think I'm going to do like straighter brows. So I kind of just shaded them in straight across and then down following my natural shape, but just made them, I just white, I made them thicker a little bit. Um, and you're going to see what I mean in a minute. Okay. So normally when I, uh, pencil in my brows, I go up like that and then come down. This time I just went more straight across and down. It's really, really subtle, but it makes a big difference when you color them in. There. Now, I know it might look a little bit weird because you can tell where I am, um, where I've shaded in where there's no hair. I'm trying really hard to grow my eyebrows back. And they're coming back slowly, but it's a work in progress. So, I kind of just have been, um, you know, shading them in how I want them to look. Now, this kind of brow I don't do very often because I do think that it's a little, um, if you have brow hair, I say do it because I don't have brow hair. I don't do it a lot and I just go with, you also have to think about going with the natural shape of your brow. Um, so I don't do this thick of a brow a whole lot. I really try and just stick with um, the natural shape of my brow and where my hair actually is. So I, I do more of like an arched, you know, and like I said, it's subtle, but it is, it is a big difference and I don't think it, it probably doesn't make a difference to anybody that's not you. It's going to make the biggest difference to you. So now I do gel my brows upward because um, I like to see the hair. Okay, then mascara. Lashes are a huge, huge part of this look because you're looking so boyish and you know, because you're having some of the boyish attributes like bushy brows and not a whole lot of makeup, you want to have some girly things thrown in there so that you don't look totally boyish. Okay, and then the only other thing that we need is red lips. So, what did I do with them? Okay, they're right here. So, this is our liquid lipstick. Um, it's like the you know goes on like a gloss and dries matte stays all day has great stain power the thing i like about these ones is that they don't dry your lips out and in turn they don't make your lips look super super thin so what i do is i just put a little on my bottom lip and i land it in Okay. If you feel like you need a smidge more on the top. Okay, then that other the only thing other thing we need is finishing spray. So 10 years younger makeup finish. Here we go. And that's it. You're done. Super easy. It's like the easiest way to look put together and like you have, like you know what you're doing, but in a quick amount of time and you look trendy and you know, just good. And it, like, I mean, I could probably do this look in five minutes had I not been filming. Um, I think this look really looks cute with like a high bun and some huge earrings or a hat or even a low bun. I don't know. This is one of my favorite looks. So yeah, let me know what you think. Real quick, I did want to go through, because I know that I never actually mentioned like what some of the trends for 2017 are. So I wanted to talk about that real quick, just so that you could know what, what they are. Okay. So just real quick, I just wanted to go into, uh, what some of the 2017 looks are. So in the last video I did the black liner in like in the waterline 
and then kind of like smudged out a little bit grungy that's a huge trend glossy lids which i think i'm going to do a video on that tomorrow super easy really really cool look i don't know how it wears but for pictures it's awesome 80s looks which is um, I'm thinking of like blue frosty eyeshadow, um, lots of blush, a lot of color on the face. Um, that'll be a cool one. Um, very bold blush. Um, so very, very bright blush, but like on the cheeks. The, I've even seen it where they take it up to the temples. I've seen, um, I can't remember whose show it was, but they did like monotone um face monofa monotone makeup where it was like pink lips pink eyeshadow and then a spray of pink blush from the cheekbones all the way up beautiful um i think that'll be really fun for springtime um metallics um like golds charcoals silvers the thing that is really unique about that is they're not doing super like super architectural stuff on the eye and by that me I mean kind of like the Instagram look where it's like you have a crease color you have a lid color and none of them can ever blend together they're just super super uh, planned out this is kind of just a quick sweep across the lid and it kind of blends upward and you're done just real casual kind of um, fun but like effortless looking makeup so they're doing that with metallics as well which is a fun look um, the relaxed red lip is which is the one we did today um a real you know relaxed red lip with not with um a bare face pretty much otherwise and uh bushy brows um glitter glitter is a huge one glitter um the thing about that they're doing differently about glitter is that they're doing it like just on a sp like on a spray of, like whether it's underneath your eye or on your brows or on just on your eyelid just one place and then if it's kind of messy and it falls up, down the rest of your face totally great like the the whole imperfect casual look is kind of the theme lip gloss um instead of lipstick lipstick i feel like has been pretty big on um, last couple of years lip gloss is coming back um which is makes sense because you know kind of like the the trends from the 90s are really coming back so um lip gloss is one of them fresh glowy naturally radiant skin looking like you let that beautiful skin how you look like in the morning like when you just woke up just a natural flush um dimensional lips is the next one um which is either whether you want to use glitter with that whether you want to use lipstick whatever and then straight boyish brows are a huge thing um which i love i am trying to grow mine out but they just will not cooperate um so i did that one actually pink hues pink on the eyes like i was talking about how they did the monotone looks on the eyes on the lips pink blushes just the color pink is really 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 gonna be um huge this year so yeah let me know what you guys think about these trends which one is your favorite which one you want to see next um i'm super excited about all of them but anyway i'm gonna get going and you guys have a great day bye